Hi everyone, it's Nicole, Johnny, Luca, and Tadio. And today we're going to be making the Grimace Shake! So, a little backstory. When the Grimace Shake was out for the month that it was out, my children wanted it so badly, but they didn't tell me about it until the last couple of days that it was there, and we didn't make it in time. So they never got the Grimace Shake. So they have been asking me to recreate the Grimace Shake for them ever since then, and today is the day. We're going to do that together. And I'm wearing my purple in honor of Grimace, but the one thing I realized about the color purple in doing this is that I don't own anything the color purple, and neither do the kids, <laughs> which is why they're not wearing purple. But I actually borrowed a shirt from someone, so that's, uh, um, I wanted to be festive with a borrowed purple shirt. So here we go. Here I'm going to make some fresh whipped cream. So for the whipped cream, we're going to use two cups of really cold, heavy whipping cream. You wanna take it straight from the fridge and make sure it's nice and cold. So we're going to use two cups. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, that's my little sous chef right there. So we have our two cups of heavy cream. To that, we're going to add Stop. This is confectioner sugar, right? Powdered sugar. Powdered so sugar. why do we use powdered sugar? Because if we use granulated sugar, you would have the grains in your whipped cream and it wouldn't be very good. This dissolves better in whipped cream. So it's going to be four, about four tablespoons of confectioner sugar. Dad, put it in and mix it up. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mwah, it does. Okay. All right, so we have our four tablespoons of confectioner sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract. None of that fake stuff, no imitation. I don't prefer that, I like pure. Um, and, like it nice and vanilla e Is vanilla e a word? I don't think it's a word, but we can make up our own words around here, right? Who's following the rules? The other thing that I like to do in whenever I'm making something like sweet, like baking or doing something sweet, I like to add a little tiny pinch, I know it sounds so strange, but a little pinch of salt. It counterbalances all the sweetness of the flavors and it kind of, it balances it out. It just makes it a little bit better. So just a tiny pinch. It's not even a half a teaspoon. It's, it's less than that, probably a quarter of a teaspoon. So we add that and then, so start it out slow because you don't want to weigh a powdered sugar. It's not a good look. So we're going to start it slow and then speed it up. pinch of salt that we add, kosher salt. I like to cook with kosher salt, not the table salt, the iodine table salt. It's um, kosher salt, it's, it's actually less salty, believe it or not. It has more of a grain and it's easy for me. I just take a pinch and um, it, if you use table salt, it'll probably be too salty. Okay, so this is the texture we're looking for. It's called stiff peaks. We want to whip it until it has stiff peaks like this that stand up. See? Because if we whip it any longer, it can become butter. So then we're going to take a spoon and add our whipped cream into the bag. Put it in and then you twist the bag. If you don't have a pastry bag like I do, no worries. Just take a Ziploc baggie, fill it up, make your whipped cream go down to the edge, and then snip with the scissors the very tip of the bag, and then you'll, you will be able to pipe it on top. I actually make my own ice cream sometimes, and when I make ice cream, I like to make French vanilla. The flavor of it is more custardy and creamy, and I just enjoy it more. Now we're ready to make the shake. So here it goes. First, 
we're going to do the ice cream. So, oh, okay. it nice, it got nice and melty. Okay, first we're going to put our ice cream. The blueberries. And we're going to have our assistant, Luca, Luca. my twin. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> we're going to have Luca put our blueberries. And it is one and a quarter cups of blueberries, fresh blueberries. So you can use frozen. So I'm using some fruit today, and you can use frozen. But when it's in season, I say fresh is best. So right now berries are in season for summer, so we're using fresh berries. All right, Luca, there you go, add it in. Volunteer is here to add in our cup of strawberries. They look so delicious. Who's here? Who's my next volunteer? Johnny. Johnny! This is Johnny, my oldest. He's going to be on strawberry duty. Yes. All right. And last but not least, we have Antonio. Mr. Antonio. And he's adding, what are you adding, Antonio? Mm. What are those? Raspberries. 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 Go ahead. Ooh, that's big and tall. The blueberries are going to give the Grimace Shake a nice purple color. And some, I've seen some recipes floating around where people add food coloring. We're not into that around here. We think the most natural is best, so we won't be adding any food coloring. Might not be as purple as the other ones out there, or as purple as my shirt even, but it will be a nice berry color, and that is just fine. Next for our shake, we're going to do another teaspoon of vanilla. I can never get enough of vanilla, so I figure even though we're using vanilla ice cream, why not add a little bit of vanilla in again? Smell the vanilla. Ah, oh, so good! So good! I gotta just drink it a whole day, babe. You No. And last but not least, we're going to add some milk so that it blends nice. We're going yeah. to blend it up. Look at that, look at that. Because we didn't add food coloring and we added lots of berries, it's more of a pink color than a purple, but it's okay. Here are our shakes and we're going to top them with some homemade whipped cream. This a little shake of sprinkles. So, so here is our finished Grimace shake. That's what it looks like. See, well, it's kind of purplish, right? And the top, a little brownish. cannot wait to try. Here we go. We lost one little guy who doesn't want to do a cheers with us, but he's happily in the background drinking his shake. But here we go. Let's do a cheers. One, two, three. Cheers, cheers Grimace. Happy birthday, Grimace. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm. It's great. Mm. Very good. Tastes mm. like um, a, van it? a vanilla milkshake, mm. but but like what blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Like a, like a berry milkshake, right? Right? Is mm. that the best way to um, yeah. describe it? It's like a berry milkshake? Um. Mm. Mm. I can't really. Very, very good.